Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I have two packages here. I apologize for my voice. I have a very sore throat, but I still wanted to film this. I have two packages here today. Uh, purchases I made that were heavily influenced, I think, by my visit to the San Francisco Pen Show. So the, well, both of these came from the US and both of these incurred customs charges, not at the fault of the seller whatsoever, but just warning all Canadian buyers that I have been hit with customs a lot recently. Um, so just as a warning for you guys. All right, so the first one I bought from River City Pen Co and the second one was purchased off Reddit. So let's do the one from River City Pen Co first. Wow, that took forever and a day for me to open that box. So it's nicely wrapped and then love it. So some stickers from Rich, who I also met at the San Francisco Pen Show, met him at the After Dark on Friday, and then also went out for dinner with him and Corolla on Saturday night. I, I regret not purchasing anything from Rich at the show, and I'm really glad that I did purchase this in the end. So love that the pen is mightier than the sword. How cute is that? All right, so this was my invoice. Perfect. Okay. So, okay, I'm always nervous when I do these. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous and it's got a lot more shimmer than I thought it would. Do you guys know what this is? Have you ever seen one like it? It is a nib holder for my Kakamori brass nib pen. So, Rich has made it so that you can easily put the Kakamori brass nib in there. And you know, while the Sakura wood is beautiful, I love this. When I saw it on the River City Pen Co. website, the photos did not do this justice. Like the amount of shimmer that is in here is stunning. Oh, I love that. And that fits really, really nicely in the hand as well. So I'm gonna take the brass nib <laughs> and straight into there. How easy was that? Oh, and that is beautiful. Love that. So I'm not going to do any ink testing or writing with it or anything like that because you guys know how the brass nib works. And now I've got ink all over me, but I'll actually just show you what the size is in comparison to pens so you guys get a look as to how big this is. So there's the Kakimori brass dip pen with the River City Pen Co uh, nib holder and it is the April Orchid contoured nib holder. So this in comparison to for example the Lamy 2000, the size in comparison to the Esterbrook SD, the Le Bon 325 which is a bigger pen for sure, the Sailor Pro Gear, and the Pelican M605. So looking at all of these uncapped you'll be able to see the length of the nib holder compared to all of these pens. Um, Rich also has different sizes of the nib holder. So he has a slim model, he has a mini, mini model, um, and he does them in the different types of resins as well. So these are all hand turned by Rich of River City Pen Co. But if you look at that, this nib holder is definitely longer than the rest of them. I know that, uh, for example, Corolla, she has one of the mini ones and it is comparable to the size of the ST. But you can see definitely by the width of the nib holder, it's actually a got a good width to it. It's not too narrow or skinny. And it's, I think, about the same width really as the Esterbrook ST, which is what you guys know that I compare most of my pens to. So. Oh, I love that. So let's just take even a closer look at all of that sparkle. But this has been beautifully turned by Rich of Ready River City Pen Co. So I highly recommend going to visit his shop, rivercitypencompany.com, and also look him up on Instagram. He uh, also does a variety or a number of different pen shows throughout the year. And he doesn't just do uh, nib holders. He does regular, I say regular, but other fountain pens as well. But I love this so much. I don't have any pens that look exactly like this and this was the one that really stood out to me. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
love that so that is my new nib holder from river city pen company so here is the second package wow oh my gosh wow okay so let's take those out and this pen was purchased off of reddit and definitely influenced by me trying some pens at the san francisco pen show and making sure that i liked the size of this particular brand you guys already guess what this is so well packaged yes it is a leonardo and the seller has also included some inks oh my gosh it did warn me that there were a ton of these but oh my goodness I wasn't planning on doing a swatching, but I guess I can. <laughs> oh, wow. So there's some from the Diamond Infant Calendar. I think I'm going to swatch these in a separate video. Oh gosh, there are nine here in total. I've heard Bliss is really good as well. Celebration. What's this one? Yule Log was one that I wanted to try. And then we've got, oh, and Dusted Truffle, Memory Lane and one more sleeve i am really excited so i will actually swatch these in a separate video this was not at all part of my purchase but actually the customs charge makes that worth it <laughs> so let's first get rid of all the bubble wrap you guys can see my desk around me Ooh, sorry for the shaking but yes this is a leonardo furore so a leonardo officino italiano furore all right this is my first of this model but it's not my first leonardo so it comes in this cardboard sleeve and i appreciate that the seller kept the box i actually keep all of my boxes as well for possibility of future selling for future sales so and then it ooh, then it comes in this box which of course i will keep <sighs> okay oh <laughs> anticlimactic but then you have the um, pamphlet in here that gives you information about the pen but also some of the warranty and then oh goodness gracious that is gorgeous let's take that out that is even better than I expected oh my goodness so this is the Leonardo Furore in the aqua Petra Wow, so you have this that comes with it, and I'm glad she put that back on there. But look at this. Hold on, let's move this. So you can really get how beautiful that looks. Look at the colors. You've got blue and teal and green and purple and pink and oh my gosh. And look at that clip. I love that. You've got that little rolly thingy here with the clip. So this is a cigar shape. It's not got the flat ends. It's got the pointed coney <laughs> cone ends and then you've got the gold detailing here as well so open that up oh my gosh is that rose gold no it looks like rose gold but it's a gold it's a yovo number six steel nib that's gold plated and it is a fine and this is a cartridge converter pen so it comes with the converter and that says leonardo on it but i also want to show you one of the things that i've learned about leonardo pens is that the top actually comes off and this is called a blind cap so you can actually use this part to fill the pen without actually having to take it apart but my my only concern with that is you can't actually see the ink level by doing that but oh, how beautiful is that pen i am so 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 happy with that like that is stunning that is stunning so let's compare this to the other pens in my collection so here is the leonardo furore in the aqua petra compared to the esterbrook sd and you can see they're very similar in length and even in shape the esterbrook sd is just like a hair longer than the furore but you can see that they're almost the same size in width and then my only other Leonardo is the Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in the Angel Skin. And you can see how much bigger this pen is, both in, you know, that length, but also in the girth and how wide it is. Then compared to the Lamy 2000, the Le Bon 325, 
the Sailor Pro Gear, and the Pelican M605. So let's go ahead and compare these uncapped. So there are all of the pens uncapped, and yes, the Estabrook SD and the Ferrari are very similar in size. The only difference for me in terms of the body is that there is a little bit of a step up there between the grip and the body. And hold on, I'm trying to get my hair out of the way here. And you can see actually the Ferrari looks like it's just a tiny bit wider uh, in the body. And then comparing to the Memento Zero Grande 2.0, it's actually not that different in terms of length, but definitely in width, but also this is a piston filler. And then compared to the Lamy 2000, the Le Bon 325, which I think out of all of them is probably slightly, like comes out ahead, or maybe just about the same size as the Memento Zero Grande 2.0. And then you've got the Sailor Pro Gear with the, looks like the smallest nib, um, and then the Pelican M605. So the reason that I compare these specific pens is because one, the Estabrook SD is one that is so, so comfortable in my hand, but two, a lot of these pens, like for example, the Pro Gear, and these are pens that are comfortable in my hand to write, but then also if you have any pens like this in your collection, it's easy to compare the size. But it's always difficult to compare the size of the pen without actually holding it. I wouldn't have purchased this pen if I had not tried Leonardo at the San Francisco Pen Show, so I'm so glad that I did. So the Leonardo Frore weighs 27 grams and then uncapped it weighs while it rolled away oh my gosh stay 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 like 20 21 and that is nine seven grams uh it's so great when i try to do a video and then oh now it stays it's 21 grams goodness for those who are interested how many rotations it takes to uncap the pen so let's go one and it looks like it's one and a half that it takes to uncap the pen now i don't post my pen because i find that this is quite quite comfortable in my hand but you certainly can post it and for those who like the larger pen i think it works actually quite well i would be afraid of scratching the resin here but for those who like to post their pens i think it would actually be not too bad it doesn't feel too too back heavy when you do that either so oh, let's go ahead and do a writing sample so i'm not going to fully ink this pen up yet because i do i think want to use it in 30 inks 30 days so i'm just going to do a quick dip test in pilot Iroshizuku Sukio. now i know dip testing isn't always going to be exactly the same as inking up a pen but i just wanted to test this quickly uh, and then do a proper rinse out later all right, so this is the ooh, Leonardo do furore. It's so fun saying that word. It's so smooth in the aqua. Oh wait, aqua Petra, and this has a fine nib. Oh my gosh, that is smooth. gorgeous smooth in every direction that i am writing and i'm just going to write that the ink is a pilot roshizuku sukio wow and then this was purchased off of reddit what was the date that i purchased this i believe it was september 4th Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So there are my two most recent purchases plus all of these inks. Thank you to uh, Corinne for sending these as well. I will do a separate video swatching all of these because, oh my gosh, they're so fun. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. So the information for River City Pen Company is down in the description below. And I, oh, I'm in love with both of these. I am so, so in love with both of them. Oh, so exciting. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.